Hello, welcome everyone. This is Coffee with Developers and I have here with me today uh, Luella Kremers. She is a web developer, public speaker. She codes in .NET and Python and she works and learns web development stuff while still studying computer science. Welcome, Lou. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm great. Thank you for having me. Awesome. So can you... You told me just before we started recording this that you have you are working two jobs, which yes. sounds uh, exhausting. Besides uh, <laughs> studying, uh, can you tell me what are you working at those jobs? I'm currently a web developer at a web agency, so I do that two or one day a week, uh, and I work on bigger uh, web projects for bigger companies. And I do that while also working as an IT teacher three days a week. Uh, and I teach pre-university students. So imagine around 16 years old up to 20. And then also study as well. Wow. So you do these two jobs and you study at the same time. Yeah. Um, what made you take that decision to, to do so much stuff at the same time? Well, first of all, I'm a very curious person. I really like uh, challenging myself to do new stuff. And also, I have a lot of fun with it, so it helps me to, to keep going. And, of course, uh, it helps to pay my bills. It helps to pay my studies, so that helps as well. Uh, so, Lou, tell me, you said you teach people for up to 20 years of age. Uh, yeah. do, do you have trouble getting taken seriously as such a young developer? Because I heard bad stories from the industry that this is something that happens. Well, of course, it's a challenge because you're around teenage boys most of the time. They can be quite uh, hard to learn or to teach. but it's going kind of good. Like I'm not sure how it's going to be in the longer run because I've only been doing this for two weeks now. Okay. Uh, but I will figure it out. <laughs> oh, I mean, the earlier you start with this kind of stuff, the better you get at it later on. And you are yeah, uh, exactly. at a super young age. Uh, so kudos for, for doing all of that, which is it's su super interesting to, uh, to hear someone with this motivation and dedication. Uh, doing these kind of things. Are you learning other things besides your regular um, university curriculum? Well, yes, of course, because for work, I also have to learn other stuff that I'm not getting in my curriculum. Um, for example, I got quite good at React and TypeScript over the last few months, because that's something nice. uh, that's in the stack of my uh, company. And I also still working with PHP because I really like it. Python is also not in my company stack. So that's something I do in free time as well and get better at. And I've also been trying out some uh, Solidity stuff. So Web3 and those kind of subjects interest me too. I don't want to jump in it, <laughs> but I'm very curious as to why it's such a huge thing in the community right now. Nice. So you are in many things. And you, you also told me that you you try to keep up with social media. What are you doing yes. on social media? Where are you most active? Okay, what I do on social media is that I create Twitter content and uh, Instagram content. Uh, you can, for example, I really like to post chat jokes on there. And I also really like to post just fun little jokes, uh, actually. But and educational stuff as well. So I also do blog posts and code snippets and actually all kinds of stuff that I'm interested in. Nice, yeah. So you, we are a little bit the same. I also lo love sharing uh, jokes and memes and stuff because yeah. the, I mean, we are in a world where there's so much bad stuff around and when I can cheer someone up with a meme or a joke. Uh, yeah, exactly. It goes, it goes a long way. Yeah, my goal is always to have a lighthearted, educational, but fun account. So I don't want yeah. to do huge threats or heavy educational stuff for expert developers. That was never my goal. I just want to keep it simple and lightweight. Nice. 
And now, well, now we heard a little bit what you do. You study, you work two jobs, you learn new stuff and you are active on social media. And how do you manage your time? Do you have any tips that you can give the rest of us who struggle with, uh, with managing their time? Uh, the thing that I like to do is to make quite simple uh, to-do list at the beginning of the week and make uh, yeah, kind of like a Moscow analysis, like a must do, could do, won't do. And then I try to at least get everything that's in the must done. And I would also prefer to do the could done, but uh, that's uh, about it actually for me. It's quite naturally for me, I'm very much uh, disciplined on scheduling stuff. So uh, I don't really have a huge planning system around me. Okay, nice. So yeah, your weekly list. Cool. Yeah. Nice. And uh, have you struggled with procrastination or do you struggle with procrastination? Because I know that many people do, including myself. And uh, if yes, how do you tackle that? I definitely do, especially with uni work, because that's always, for me, less interesting than my <laughs> private projects or public speaking or social media content. Um, so what I try to do is to just at least start with it a little bit, because once I start, once I get over that hurdle, I start working and I start getting motivated. So that's what I try to do. So um, you do all of these things and uh, which must be stressful. And people talk a lot about work-life balance, which is important. And do you have some hobbies, some other activities to balance out your work and your studies? Oh, that's, that's a good question, of course public speaking and writing also, at least for me, counts as hobbies because it's not coding, it's not my job. Um, so that's definitely a few of them, but I also like going out with friends, um, hanging out with my boyfriend is a big one. I like going on walks from time to time. It's just something that gets me away from my screen for a little bit. Nice. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. We, we actually met in uh, the uh, World Congress of the We Are Developers World Congress this year, yes. 2022. And um, I just wanted to, to know how, how did you like the event? For example, let's start with how did you like the venue? Was it oh, too big? Was it okay? No. How was it? Definitely not. I hope next year it's going to be even bigger. So we can hear even more stories and more speakers. That would be awesome. Uh, I really liked the venue. It was quite easy to reach also with public transport. So that's great. There was enough space. Uh, and also the vibe people were really cool. So I don't really have anything to complain about, about the venue. It was really fun. Nice. And did you uh, did you meet someone interesting, inspiring that you want to tell us about at the at the congress? Let me think. There were so many inspirational people. Like I follow quite a few of them on Twitter, and I have contact with them. But actually, getting an opportunity to meet them in real life and get dinner with them and just talk with them about tech or their journey was actually really amazing. Um, Especially for me, at least the Dutch speakers that I'm really in contact with on Twitter or the Dutch speaking um, speakers like uh, Danny de Klerk, Stacey Cashmore, Raudi, I don't know his last name anymore. <laughs> Those people are really cool to meet because I will probably see them more often, but it was nice to actually get to meet them for the first time in about a year. Nice. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. I also met many people there that I haven't met before, but I sort of feel I have because I hang out with them on social media all the time. I interact with them on almost a daily basis. 
yeah, yeah, exactly. Like yeah, so it's always nice to finally put like a vibe to it, to have like lunch together, to eat something, to exchange stories. Yeah, which is and nice. of course, of course, meeting you and the other tech Twitter people was very cool because yeah, normally you see each other on video or you talk to Just each other. Just avatar, on right? Page. Small. Uh, Just okay. the avatar, insane. It totally blew my mind that that's possible. Awesome. So since the Congress ended, have you been up to something else, something interesting? I suppose uh, classes started just now yeah. again? Yeah, Cl class started last week. So I'm okay. back at uni again. Uh, I started teaching two weeks ago, like I told yeah. you, which is uh, very cool. I'm still very much experimenting with what I can do, what I cannot do to keep the class motivated. And uh, yeah, that's actually it. Like graduation is coming closer and closer and closer. So that's quite uh, cool too, I guess. It's stressful as well. Uh, I imagine. But, yeah. Well, How much time do you have left in university? Uh, until the end of the school year. So about Ju June, July, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Almost done. Cool. Almost done. Yeah. After <laughs> four years, I'm very happy that it's almost <laughs> over. Yeah, especially with COVID in between, it was oh, very, yeah. very Don't difficult. Yeah. So you have in-person classes again, right? Yes. 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 Okay. Nice. Uh, if you have, if you would give an advice to someone that just starts uh, to learn how to code and getting into all the tech world. Is there yeah. one, like one advice you can give them? Well, start out with the code camp. That's the best course you can actually get out there for free. Uh, try to have fun with it, experiment. If you're stuck, ask friends or Google because all those developers are actually just professional Googlers. <laughs> so I would <laughs> <True>. definitely <laughs> say do that. And don't compare yourself to others. Right? Don't compare yourself to somebody that has been coding for five years while you're coding for two weeks. That's just not good for your mental state and also not good for your motivation. So keep being busy with your own journey and your own experience and give yourself time to actually learn. Yes, I can definitely agree with that. Lou, um, thanks for taking your time to come on the show and for your awesome answers. And I hope to see you around soon. Yes, definitely. You will see me more often for sure. Awesome. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.